Hello everyone and in this video we are going to make a system which will help us to reverse the time in unity so of course I have errors in my example so if I hit the button which will help me to actually reverse the time I will have red errors over here but anyway it's working and I'm going to show you what we are going to use in this example. So, here we go. This is just a simple third-person controller, which is provided in example assets in Unity 5. And I have here a very simple script attached to it, Time Remember. So this script is pretty simple if you look at it like this, but it's really hard to uh, understand this script if you're looking at it right now so look I will just you know try to explain you stuff but it's going to be later before we are going to look at script I'm going to show you this in real action so have a look this is our guy right so why exactly I showed you that we have only one script attached to this guy this is because it's very easy, so you don't have to play with many scripts, just single script, and you don't even have to, you know, uh, add here any variables. It's just a single script, so just attach it and don't touch it anymore. So, okay. So we hit play button, right? And we will be able to control our character. So let's me show you this stuff so we go forward you know we just move we just move blah 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 and then what's now so you can see this slider this slider is our time so if I hit T button it means that I will reverse the time so I will control my time so I hit T and there will be error over here T you can see so there's about array but now I can control my time so look Actually, I'm not controlling animations, but I'm controlling my time. So, how it's working, actually. So, uh, the, so, the position of player is remembered in the script attached to this guy. And then this slider is making a position of our guy here equals to remembered position of, you know, time, uh, you know, time uh, position and, uh, and rotation so I hope you understand what I'm talking about here I'm really really do you hope so let's just have a look at them oh blah, 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 blah. let's let's just have a look again let's just have a look again good lord my voice is so up okay let's just hit play button so you will see that it's not fake so it's working so all right so our time is over so hit T button and now have a look So you can see that, right? So we have time controlled by us. Let's try it again. So third time, more action, more, more jumping, more action. Okay, let's hit, hit T button and we are controlling now our time. So you can see this. So we are now we can reverse our time, right? Uh, we can move it forward like this so it's our time position slider and let's now finally have a look at our script so you can see I have here a crazy amount of errors crazy number of errors uh, well now let's dig into our wonderful crazy script so this is just a links I use it to make this script work thanks to all people who are responsible for posting all those wonderful articles so just have a look this is array of transforms uh, so this array will hold all positions I mean all transforms during the time so we will uh, have a look at current position of our um, object and we will put this uh, a position into array so one by one one by one one by one blah 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 blah, blah. this is counter counter for our mm, array unit or cell 
so you know I call this unit this is a race size so you know uh, those variables they are just service variables so you know they are just for service purposes now let's have a look uh, so uh, if time is not stopped and uh, we are in a range of 200 uh, array units so cells or units then we are making our you know so we are adding plus one to array size and we are resizing our array array world t so to make it bigger and bigger and each time uh, we make it bigger you know plus one plus one plus one plus one then uh, we are you know running along uh, alone you know we are running through our uh, world T so this is a uh, array of all transforms during life during time and then we are creating a temporary game object so actually here is a lot of game objects who will be created and uh, we are taking a position and rotation of our current game object actually you know for you know for this moment and we are putting this position and annotation to this guy so we are copying transform of you know now and we are putting this to temporary object so uh, and this temporary object it's our save it save it transform actually so each new game object it's save it transform for every second maybe not second maybe millisecond because this yield here is not working for some reason so I cannot make any delay and then uh, and then 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 we are making our uh, you know mm, array cell or unit equals to this object which was taken as you know you know just like I will call this you know time slice object and then we make you know count plus one so you know to go to next unit of our array I mean this array so okay and let's have a look you know why I press it T button T button stops the time so have a look if we hit T button so we are toggling this value you know we make you know a toggle so if time is stop it was false then it turns into true if it was true then it turns into false and have a good I mean have a look <laughs> so if time is stop it so if we uh, you know so uh, at the start at the start time is not stopped so this value you know is not so you know this stuff is not working yet but if we hit T this is becoming true time is stopped and we have this stuff over here so this is what making all those errors and now have a look so uh, we are taking current you know this um, our game object taking its transform and make it equal to, you know this count and count is also count is also this slider so uh, so what I'm trying to say here is very hard to explain and to understand for you guys but I will try I will try my best so have a look uh, if time is stop it right so uh, we have control for this for this slider and uh, actually uh, what value you, you select on the slider it will be our count and count is unit of this er of this array and then have a look so uh, a position of our you know uh, guy this player will be equals to uh, to uh, well to position oh yeah yeah to save it a position to save it transform a position and rotation and here you know where 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 it comes to force so we can see here count 
we change this count and we change number of array unit and we assign you know uh, position and rotation to selected here in slider uh, position and rotation of you know of any save it a uh, transform oh my god I, I you know it's so hard to explain it's just incredibly hard but but it's working anyway it's working you can do it by yourself if you want if you want also you if, if you want you can make a print screen right now okay 48 and now you can also make a print screen and copy this and try this on your own it's very easy and also guys I'm going to show you another script script for collecting all game objects with some you know tag so in my case this script array of everything so have a look uh, this is extremely simple simple script so this is a link to the middle two article that helped me a lot so so, so, have, so have a look uh, we have this array right array of game objects and on start we make this you know this cycle do its work so we create a uh, new array right it's new array and we are taking uh, any game object with tag world into our you know this I mean into this new array you know it's just a temporary array so it's not live array you know it's like you know array you know service array this is how, how I should explain this and then after finish of this cycle of actually this we are making all the values from the world array from this service array come into our you know r real array so let me show you this in uh, work so first of all I make sure that I have this stuff disabled over here you know it's also kind of working together but uh, but okay let's leave it like this so have a look I have this main camera and I have this script attach it to my um, my camera but it really doesn't matter it's camera or you know it's any game object it doesn't really matter so have a look now this script will take all the objects with tag world into this inspector view so let's just have a look so we have cube 3 cube 2 cube 1 and cube uh, this, so they are all world right with tag world now let's hit play button and have a look over here and now we have uh, have a second okay we have four object with tag uh, world now let's make a duplicate so you can see you know there are many game objects over here this is save it position of our you know the player now let's make it you know bigger control D Control D, Control D, <laughs> and now let's have a look at our script. Okay, play, and you can see that. Oh my God! Okay, let's let's do it again because you know I play. You know I press it, maximize and play button. So play, and it takes all 80 objects with tag world. Now actually, I want to remove all. all because I don't want them to be here okay so yeah that's all guys thanks for watching this video I hope you understand that you know it's really you know it's 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 really possible to make a system which will revert the time possible in I mean in unity 3d so just like in uh, this game life is strange yeah thanks for watching have a good day, bye bye, bye bye, and have a good time. See you later in the next video about something very interesting or maybe not very interesting. Bye bye.